Hello and welcome to another How To Django tutorial. My name is Tom with Master Code Online. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. In today's tutorial, we're going to create the template view or the HTML templates for our list views. So we have two list views. We have one for a function-based list view and a class-based func uh, class list view. Um, so let's get started. First off, let's open up our examples. Uh, urls.py file and if you take notice there's a dollar sign in here I don't know why I put that in there well, let's get and remove that because that dollar sign indicates to Django that hey once you match a blog stop looking um, and we don't want that to happen because we're including URLs it wouldn't look past a blog and we get an error because there's nothing to display there alright and then if you go in your blog urls.py file um, we need to add a forward slash dollar sign behind the uh, post detail view and a forward slash dollar sign uh, after the post detail view. All right, so the class based detail view and the function based detail view. I forgot to add the forward slash dollar sign, so we got to do that. All right, let's get started. Um, first things first, let's create a base.html document. And that document is going to go inside our templates. So base.html. And I probably should have done this in an earlier tutorial, covered this, but um, I didn't. So now we got to cover it. <clears throat> so, first off, uh, this tutorial series, we're not going to cover much HTML or CSS. If you don't know it, I suggest you either learn it, or if you're planning on building projects, you're going to need a um, designer. Uh, so, um, uh, whatever you prefer to do, but I'm not going to be teaching you HTML and CSS. With that being said, I'm going to teach you some really quick HTML. We're going to create a HTML document. We do that by doing uh, caret exclamation point doc type all caps and lowercase HTML and close it out with a caret. Uh, this indicates it's an HTML5 document. Uh, next thing we're going to do is include our HTML tags like that. And what this does is says anything inside these HTML tags treat it as HTML. Next thing we're going to do is create the head of our document. Inside the head of, head of the document is where your CSS files go, your title tags, your meta tags, all that fun stuff. We're only going to put title tag. All right. And we're going to call our, our, uh, our project blog for now. All right. I'll show you some cool stuff with that later on. Anyhow, um, and then we're going to do body. Uh, inside the body is where the body of our document goes. Inside there, we're going to include other templates. So we do that by creating a block uh, tag for Django's templating language, and that's what we're going to focus on in this tutorial series. Um, and a block of code, if you will, uh, is where we're going to import from other templates. So we're going to name this block content. And this is where the name goes. I like to think of it as a variable. Um, so block content, and we're going to close out that tag. And the next one is going to be our ending tag for that block. So we're going to say m block, m block, like that. All right, cool. So this is where we're going to pull our information into. And where are we going to get that information from? Well, we're going to create that right now. So go over to your templates, create a new directory, and we're going to call that blog. That's for our blog app. And then inside there, create a new file, and we're going to call this uh, post underscore list.html. And you may be wondering why I name it post underscore list.html. Uh, if you go into your views with generic based view, um, it takes the model, the first name of the model, and then it adds, it's lowercase by the way, lowercase model, um, whoops, I didn't want to do that, underscore, and then list, because it's a list view, and then dot .html, that's where it comes from, all right, so we can remove that, because you don't really need that. <clears throat> or it shouldn't be there anyway. All right, so in your post list uh, we need we're gonna be importing this template into our base .html's, uh, uh file. So the way we indicate to Django, hey, or Django's template language, hey, grab this template and pull it into the base .html. We put a tag up here called uh, extends. 
And then inside quotes, we say base.html, all right? And basically this is just the path. So if you had this inside your blog directory, the base, it would be blog forward slash like that, all right? Um, and then we got to include our block content. These two got to match up here and in here. So we're going to go ahead and create another one that says block content. Um, now you can have multiple different blocks in your HTML document. Um, and that's quite okay. Like, uh, I include, and we should eventually, um, in our detail, we have SEO title and SEO content. We will do that in the next tutorial. Uh, we'll have blocks for each one of them. And also when I'm working with JavaScript, if one of my templates has a JavaScript, I include a JavaScript, uh, uh, block as well. All right. And I hook that into the base down here. All right. So anything we put inside this block content is going to be displayed on the base.html. So if I say hello world like this, all right, save that. Uh, make sure your server's running, which you run by typing python manage.py run server. Uh, mine's already running and mine takes forever to get up and running these days. So we're just going to leave that going. And if I go ahead and go to our URL, 127.0.0.1 colon 8000 forward slash blog. If you remember correctly, forward slash blog, that's our include. And then forward slash blog list is where we're trying to go. <coughs> and that's a URL for <coughs> our post uh, list view. If we refresh it, we should see hello world. There you go. All right, hello world. So what's happening there? We're bringing in the post list into the base HTML and then we're displaying that document, okay? Uh, cool, so that's one of the things we're trying to do today is at least get that far, all right? Now we wanna go ahead and show our um, each one of our blog posts which I hope I created some. I do not remember if I did, so we'll find out here in a second. Um, so the first thing we need to do is when we query um, a group of, uh, best example I can show you is our post list down here. Basically what it says is, and it says the same thing up in our class-based view up here. Um, basically what it says is, hey, Go get all the objects, all right? So we're going to the post, we're getting objects, and we're getting all of them, all right? So if we're getting all of them, th these objects need to be packaged some way and sent to the um, through the URL to the template. So if they're packaged into something, which they're packaged into a list, so it's a list of objects, we need to unpack them and display each one one by one. How do we do that? Well, in Python, to unpackage a list, we run a for lip, all right? So in here, we're gonna do a for object obj in object list um, do something, all right? So object list comes from the generic uh, view that we created over here. Uh, right here, our post list view, they use object list to package all the uh, objects into some into a list. And then we're going to use object as our temporary variable in that for loop. All right. Whenever you create a for loop, you need to include an n4. This indicates to Django's templating language that, hey, that for loop should end here. All right. Cool. Now let's go ahead and get the title of each post. And I don't, like I said, I don't know if I haven't created any posts. So we're going to find out. Uh, so we're going to do obj.title. All right. So we're getting the object and then we're we're getting the, the individual object and then we're getting the title attribute inside there. All right. So let's go ahead and bring up our um, browser again and refresh and see what happens. Intro to Python. All right. I created one called Intro to Python. That's a start. All right. So how about if we wanted to get the um, the the body of that post? I believe I called it body. We'll find out. Uh, we do object.body like that. And then we're just going to bring back our browser and refresh. And there we go. Intro to Python. This is an intro. 
All right, cool. That's how we get it. Now, if I create it to um, post, oops, I need to copy this because I should have two posts in here. Admin. There we go. Sorry about that. Should have did this before we started, but hey, it's me, you know. All right, let's create another one real quick. We're gonna say uh, intro to Django. All right, this is Django uh, category. Yeah, we'll just put it in Python for now. Draft. Uh, we'll leave this one set to draft. Let's see what happens here. Uh, they're both draft. Okay, change one of these to published. All right, cool. All right, so back to our blog. Let's go ahead and include the category real quick. So how do we do that? We'll just put another P tag Oops. down here. And we're just going to do our curly braces. And I forgot to mention the curly double curly braces indicates a ver context variable in our template tag. So notice we got double curly braces and we got curly braces for sensible. All right. Um, and what we're doing category like that. All right. So we bring in our category. And if you guys are wondering, um, Python and Python, where I'm getting these names, these attributes, these are, are in our models. So if we open up models.py, go to our posts, we got title, body, category. We can do SEO title, SEO description, slug, status, created, update. All right. So that's where they're coming from. Now, if we're looking at this, one of these, I don't remember which one, I think uh, Intro to Python is our published blog post and intro to Django is not a published uh, how do we handle that because we don't want it displayed to the user if it's not published correct uh, so we'll go back into our post list.html and right in here we're gonna do a if statement so we're gonna say if uh, obj dot status is equal equal to published like this we're gonna go ahead and display it now with the if, if statements it's just like a for loops just like a for loop we have to close it out so the Django templating language knows when it ends so end if like that and we'll go back in and refresh and you notice intro to Python was our only published one so intro to Django goes away all right now you could have done that in the views too um and it's probably better that we do it in your view so um let's see uh for this one we'll go ahead and take this all out and we're going to filter active or no not active status is equal to uh published like this all right so when we do the function based view we don't need that if statement all right, because it should just return published. And you try to keep as much code out of your templates because the Django um, template language isn't designed to do the heavy lifting. All right, that should be handled in our views and our models or separate file. Okay, uh, so there we go. So this is our our view for our intro to the Python. All right, our our, our view. For, oh man, I'm dragging today. Our blog list view, and this is coming from our um, our class based view. Now, how do we get our function based view? Well, we're using the same template, and I planned on doing that on purpose so we didn't have to rewrite it because basically this is what it should look like minus this. All right, so we're going to take out this if statement to see if our view correct works correctly. So now, if I go and look and see where our URLs. Uh, did I close it out? I must close it out. Uh, URLs, blog, URLs.py, and find our function view. It's blog hyphen list hyphen function. So blog list hyphen function should work. No, it doesn't. Our post detail view. Uh, 
So one more arrow. Look at it. And I can't believe I did this. Anyhow, um, if we look at it, uh, blog and where we got post detail view right here. This is blocking any query to blog list function. All right. We got blog list. It will stop right there. But if we have blog list hyphen function, it's going to come down to this next one where we have slug and it's going to look and look and look and it doesn't match any of our um, slugs. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> so it's going to keep going through here and kick back an error. How do we handle this? Well, one way is to do, um, we can name something like blog detail like this, detail like that. All right. And that'd be one way to uh, eradicate this error that we're seeing. And we should do it down here as well. Or you could um, also bring your uh, detail views that are searching through a variable in, in the URL down all the way to the bottom, but I don't like doing that. So we'll give it a different URL. It's going to be blog detail forward slash blog detail forward slash, and we'll work on it that way. All right. So now if I come back up here and refresh this now, am I getting an error? Cause it's not showing anything. Should be showing something. All right. So let's figure out what's going on here because this should be working. Turn one. All right. Where's my? There we go. Uh, in our views, did I spell the template? Blog post list .html. That's what we just created, correct? Blog post list .html. Okay. Uh, publish objects list. Ah, uh, did we call it objects list? Objects. Objects. There we go. Objects. Then we come back in and refresh this. There we go. Intro to Python. Uh, so what happened what, there is our context variable right over here. Uh, where is it? Our objects list right here. Uh, this should be. Uh, this should not have objects with an S. It should have object. And we wanted to match our the way the function or the class base view calls it. So where's our post list? We're going to change that back to objects list. And that was my bad as well. All right. Now if I refresh this, once my server catches up, and it did, it should be. <laughs> what in the hell? Object list views. Oh, you think out that S as well. There we go. Now I'll wait for my server to catch up. There we go. And there we go. All right, cool. So basically what we're doing here is just one quick little, little review. Uh, we're bringing in the same temp uh, HTML template. If you notice, we got blog forward slash post underscore list dot HTML for our function based view. And we also have that as well for our post list view. We don't show that here because ge generic views in Django, they look up a certain view. Like I explained earlier, where this is post underscore list.html. So we're just pulling this document in. Um, so there you go. Uh, if you guys have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next tutorial where we talk about uh, the detail view.